So where we left off was, I'm getting, I'm getting situated, I'm getting uh, acclimated and say to Neen, uh, I myself am somewhat of a traitor, uh, 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 a person who can negotiate. You know, I, 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 I'm a farmer, you know, I'm a pilgrim. You know, I, uh, I rely on my ability to communicate with people by way of strong arming and intimidation, um, a very crude uh, trader, negotiator, um, and I'm pretty much trying to become some sort of underboss, some sort of uh, maybe crime lord. You know, I, I would ideally like to not necessarily take over, you know, any crime syndicates or anything. But you know, if if there's if there's a lot of fruit in that, I can see my character getting involved. But um, personally, my character doesn't know anything about any crime syndicates. At least I don't think they do. I could roll for that potentially later. Uh, maybe a character gets introduced to me um, that is somebody from my past that is tied to maybe some sort of syndicate. But um, I'm going to go in this not knowing or remembering anything about any kind of Kamana Tong or Morong Tong or any kind of Tong. <laughs> um, I'm going to create my own Tong. I'm going to create my own um, platform. And I'm going to attempt to do that and say to me all while, um, you know, I, I still am going to be taking on quests the main quest and anything that I come across that could lead me down some sort of quest, but it's going to be natural. You know, I'm not going to run straight toward something. Um, it's, I, I really want it to be natural, but at the same time, I will try to stay not, not on rails. Um, but I, I want to complete Morrowind as well. And by complete, I mean the main quest from the perspective and, and, and it's going to be a little bit different than, um, the main character when I played more when the video game because I have more options there's going to be some paths that I'll be able to take um, that are going to be slightly different being that I am at least now I, I don't foresee me being some sort of warrior you know how would you have been able to accomplish beating the Elder Scrolls main quest without you know con combat when you think about certain Daedric quests, like um, when you think about the end of Blood Moon, where you literally fight her scene in hand to hand combat, I can't see my character doing anything like that. So it's going to be interesting when I come into contact with with uh, when I when I come to when I come into play with these different plots and things that are supposed to happen a certain way. It's going to be interesting to see how I can go about that. A different way that will not spell my death. Permadeath is on. If I die, I'll just create another character. But um, I'm, I'm going to try not to die. Okay, so um, where we left off was I started to get to know people that are um, that frequent the Ariel's Trade House, and I I discovered a a few a few recurring a, f a few ongoing plots. And that is involving a trader by the name of Tallvice Othrelin and her brothers. She she is here. She has like six brothers and she's a trader and she trades in all sorts of um, herbs and just the local fauna, uh, the local flora um, on the on the Ascadian Isles, I think is where Sedanine is. The Southern Isles, at least she she if I recall, she uses Conjuration is a way of collecting and gathering all of the resources uh, from the coast. And she pretty much, because of that, has a monopoly because she just gets all of it. She she summons, I'm sorry, she summons scamps, scamps, yes, scamps. She summons scamps and they do all the gathering and collecting and they clean up and pretty much all of the, fa the flora herbs plants all that is is in her inventory and she's been making a killing she's she's been making a living doing that and of course there's uh Raphalod, the braggart who is uh someone who is is he's competition and you know you gotta respect the hustle i don't blame him for wanting to i don't blame Raphalod for wanting to um compete but uh, I have I deemed Tolvice is a 
a potential uh, asset for me. And as far as I see it, you lost Rathalod. You lost. You lost that trade. That trade war. She has her thumb on it all, and um, I'm not going. I don't see myself helping Rathalod. At least not now. Um, you know, it depends on how tall they, how tall Vice, you know, acts. But she sounded like she was very interested in my help. But I'm pretty much going to bring her under my wing, um, and see if we can potentially uh, make more money together here and say to me maybe expand things further out you know get a little kind of maybe some breaking bad type stuff here you know she seems nice and her brothers she has her brothers for protection um but raflod was in the way and i had to talk to him i'm going to keep an eye on raflod though because there's a possibility that you know he might try to retaliate uh, not only against me but against her uh, but I, I feel like uh, I feel like I was able to get through to him. But we'll, we'll obviously we'll, we'll find out. I'll have to keep. I, I should probably talk to Tallvice uh protectors to kind of let give them an up, you know, kind of let them know to maybe uh, stay vigilant, you know, just in case Rathlot is plotting. Um, I also discovered that there is a, some some somewhat of a sibling rivalry with Ariel and his sister by the name of Minsara. Minsara is a totally new character in the expanded universe. <laughs> uh, she is a, actually a rival of Ariel. She has her own trade house. And apparently, rumor is that uh, Minsara and Ariel used to own the same trade house. Something happened, a squabble happened that I, I, I believe got physical, got violent. And Minsara is now uh, running her, uh, her, her own trade house. And there is literally a Burger King McDonald's thing going on here where there's people who are trading with Minsara and, and utilizing her trade house. And, you know, there's some competition. So I, I want to learn more about that because that could obviously come in, in handy. You know, that could be a problem. It could be an asset. It, it's definitely something that I need to look into if I'm going to be trying to hold down uh, Satanine and making Ariel's trade house my 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 center of commerce. So my goal today is going to be to investigate uh, Minsara's trade house. Minsara's trade house, and let me just take a look here. Um, shout outs to the unofficial the unofficial Elder Scrolls pages. I am utilizing this to keep an eye out for any quests that might be within the vicinity that I can kind of fall into. Um, I actually liked the, the style of doing a quest, but in addition to some extra quests that had kind of came into fruition from the role playing. So I, that way I'm kind of knocking two birds, getting two, you know, hitting two birds with one stone. Um, so far I did death of a tax man. So I want to, I want to look into Minsara. I'll need to find out where her trade house is, though. But at the same time, I'm going to have to be careful with that because I I uh, I don't know if R I want Ariel to know that I'm looking into that. I heard he was very sensitive about Minsar, as he should be. But I, you know, I'm trying to also make Ariel a trusted ally, and the last thing I want is for him to feel like he cannot trust me. You know. First things first. Let me go talk to, let me just go check in on Tallweiss O'Thralen. I'm currently in a bed uh, under Ariel's trade house. Uh, did I get a good night's rest? You know, I, I'm paying for, I'm paying for this room. I, I don't recall how long I got the room for, um, but I'm paying for this room. I'm hoping that I got a good night's rest. Did I get a, did I get a good night's rest? I'm going I'm to say likely. Yes, and event dispute slash love. I don't know how anyone could debate the comfort, the comfortability, the comfortability of these beds. You know, I overheard some people complaining about uh, RL Trade House's bed so much so that he doesn't really market it, you know, um, as much. Maybe he doesn't have confidence in them, but I thought the beds were quite comfortable. So I'll need to talk to RL about that. 
maybe I can change his mind about his own beds and we can kind of open up shop and start getting some more bodies in here in these comfortable beds and make some money that way. I don't know why he doesn't sell this or uh, I don't know why this isn't a selling point of the trade house, but I feel that um, that's a missed opportunity. So I'll need to talk to RRL about that. Let me write that down. Yeah, I love the beds and I would dispute, I would debate anyone on that. I would dispute that with anyone. Okay, uh, let me check my gold. I believe I had 60 gold. I don't recall. I think 60. I think 60 is what I have left. Is, is that what I have left? I'll say likely. No, so what, I have like 30? Very likely. Forty. Okay, I got forty gold. And even if that's incorrect, it's my fault for not remembering. I wrote down sixty here, but I don't I don't know how long ago I wrote that down. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna rock out with forty gold. I'm paying how if I do have more, then that's the cost for me not keeping track, and that's fine. If you know how much gold I have, leave it in the comments, but we'll just run with forty. I got forty gold, I'm checking my wallet, checking my satchel. Alright, you know, I'm I'm ready for a productive day. I'm ready for a productive day. Is there any kind of reflective mirrors or surfaces down here that I can use to kind of check myself? Uh, somewhat un, uh, some, uh, somewhat unlikely. No, but you know, there's somewhat, there's some things that are you know reflective, but it's better than nothing. I'm gonna kind of go ahead. What, what exactly, what exactly is it that I'm looking at? Nicely clean. It's a nice clean plate i pick up a plate i look into the plate to look at my my handsome uh face um for the sake of my my speech craft which is a speech craft of exceptional i'm gonna use i'm gonna kind of get in my sim zone right now i'm gonna kind of boost my own morale and kind of bask in my own reflection kind of hype myself up psych myself up a bit um with uh with a speech craft of exceptional am i successful at doing this let's you know i'm feeling really good about yesterday i'm gonna say below average um am i successful with kind of psyching myself up with my own speech craft yeah yeah yeah, so I'm ready for the world. I'm ready for the world. I, I, I go upstairs. First thing I'm going to do, you know, is there anything going on? I'm expecting the trade house. It's it's morning. It's early morning. I'm expecting the trade house to be hustling and bustling. This is my first time really waking up here in say the name. I'm expecting it to be hustling and bustling. You know, I was here last night. Things were, you know, things were busy. I don't see why today would be any different going to generate a scene here i'm expecting it to be a lot of people i expect it to be everything going as planned people were you know trading and buying hustling and bustling is that is that what's happening is that what i see yes yeah so i come up and i come upstairs and i i greet uh rl i greet rl with an exceptional greeting um with the speech craft of exceptional, I give him an exceptional greeting and I uh, open up. I want to open up some dialogue with him. Am I successful at opening it up on a positive note? No. Is it because there's something wrong? Why am I unable to do that? You know what I mean? Very likely. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, why am I unable to open this up on a uh, positive note i'm gonna roll a plot i feel like this is a nice this would be a nice little side quest that i can do along um along the way why is he uh why am i, am I unable to greet first off let me yeah let me roll a plot confrontation let me roll a theme social Is this about, um, hmm. is this a new situation or is this about somebody from the past? Is this about somebody from the past? Likely. Clear this out. Somebody recently from the past? Likely. Is, it, is, that, is it that lizard again? No, because, well, yeah, is, is it that lizard again? Is it that Argonian? 
Unlikely. No, but it's about Minsara. Because he said he's going to go to Minsara's trade house from now on. Is it about Minsara? Very likely. Yes. And this is why I'm going to be able to greet him. Is it because he's, is he mad at me? 50-50. No. It's something that happened with Minsara. Okay. A confrontation. Okay. Okay, what happened? Assist slash fears. He has, he has a fear of something and... He needs me to, uh, he wants me to, he needs some assistance with it. I tell him, I say, hey, I, come on, come on, come on. I ask him to, uh, if we can go speak somewhere pri in private. Does he follow me? Very likely. Definitely. Okay. Let's go, let's go somewhere private. I say, let's take a walk. Let's take a walk. You know, let's get that silt, let's get that, uh, let's go see that sunrise by the silt strider. Let's take a walk by the Silt Strider. Let's go, let's, let's go get that Silt Sunrise. Remember that song, Silt Sunrise? I think that's what it's called. Let's go, let's go. So we're taking a walk outside. I expect it to be a nice morning, cold and crisp, and the sun is rising. Um, that's 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 what I'm expecting. Is that what I is that what we walk into? Altered scene. It's a little bit more chilly than we thought. It's a little, is it too chilly for me? I am, I'm not from here. Is it too chilly for me? Very likely. Yeah. I'm having second thoughts about, about taking that walk. So we're just going to go around the corner. Does he agree? Very likely. Yeah. Okay. I say, you know what about that walk? Let's just, what's, what's, what's going on? That's what I ask him. He said something along the lines of um, confrontation. So ha have you been, has, has there been some sort of, was there some sort of threat? Somewhat likely. No. All right. And what's the issue? I'm going to roll another plot point. Meta character steps down. Something is going to happen to a character. They're going to step down. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, figure out who exactly. Is it, um, is it Aru? Is he stepping down? Somewhat likely. No. Are there people, f is there someone, is it someone in the trade house that's leaving the trade house? Very likely. Yeah. And it has something to do with Minsara. So there wasn't a threat made, but was there some sort was was someone, you know, headhunted? Was someone uh you know poached to come trade at Minsara's trade house? Very likely. Yes. Event imitate slash messages. So RL begins to you know, kind of do his impression of one of the traders in the trade house saying that they were going to be leaving and going to be working with the Minsara. Hmm. Now, my, I obviously want to know who, but when he, when he does the imitation message, what exactly does he say? What are the words being said? Crazily slash glorious. So he's mocking the person. He's talking like them. It, because apparently this person was promised a crazy, glorious, you know, some crazy, crazy benefits. Uh, and, and, you know, it would be glorious for them. So they were pretty much poached to come trade at Mensara's trade house. Now, first thing I want to know is who? Who? So let me pull up all the NPCs that are in RL's trade house. And I'm going to roll a dice to see which one of these jokers are, are taking their business elsewhere. All right. So... We have Albicius Cololius, Elone, Hriscar Flatfoot, Raflod the Braggart, Tandram. It's gotta be Raflod, right? It's gotta be Raflod, right? It's gotta be Raflod. Is it Raflod? Is Raflod? 
I'm not gonna say, is it Rathlock? Cause I don't want him to know that I'm, I'm not causing trouble, but I'm ruffling feathers in his trade house. Um, I'm not gonna say, is it Rathlot? I'm just gonna say, who, who, who is it? But it's Rathlot, ain't it? I'm gonna say the odds of that are very likely, especially because of what I just did to him. Is it Rathlot? Exceptional, no. I'm interpreting that as it's, it's someone I don't, I definitely don't expect. Like, Tolvice. Is it Tolvice? Somewhat likely. That's it. She's gone too far. That's odd, right? Especially because of the conversation we just had. About getting her up on her feet. And helping her. That's odd. There's something odd about that. I have to I have to go talk to them anyway. So I asked I asked Arya, I said, so you know, I know she's one of your biggest she's one of your biggest. Um What do you plan to do about that? I'm just curious as to what he's thinking. Like he's the he's the businessman, right? What are you gonna do about that? Is what is what I ask him. What's he say? Expose slash dreams. He's going to ruin his sister's whole career. Well, one, he doesn't even tell me where she's going because he doesn't want me to know about that trade house, right? He didn't tell me that it was Minsara's trade house. That she, he just told me that she was leaving. He, he, he withheld that information because he doesn't want, want, he doesn't know I know about Minsara's trade house. A lot of people don't. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if if Tolvice told him that she's just leaving and didn't tell him where he's going, maybe she's just was, gave him a nondescript trade house. Did he say that it was told? Did he say? Is, is that the case? I'm going to say very likely. Yeah. So he says he's going to expose that trade house. And ruin their dreams of, be, you know, of being a successful trade house. He's going to expose them. And I asked him, I say, expose them. So who, what, what, what trade house are we talking about there? Is there another trade house around here that, you know, um, that I don't know about, you know, playing coy? Does he, does he tell the truth and tell me about this trade house, Nisara's trade house? Uh, I think he trusts me, honestly. I think, or he's going to start trusting me. So I'm going to say likely. He tells me. Yes, but he with he withholds some information. He doesn't give me the name of the person's trade house, does he? He doesn't, does he? Somewhat likely. No, he doesn't. Does he tell me where it's at? Likely. Yeah. Is it in town? I don't remember. Is it is it out? Is it is it is it? It's underground. I remember it's underground. Is it in town? I think. I don't remember where we where we said it was. Is it in town? 50-50. Yeah, it's definitely in town. Okay. Alright. So this is what we're going to do. Just for, for some cohesiveness here. If, if you recall... The reason a tax collector was killed, the tax collector was killed by that dude, and he said that the uh, the census and excise office were doing some shady dealings and had their hand in some shadiness. I'm going to say that Mensara's trade house is actually associated with the census excise office. I'm going to say it's the, it's the Imperials running that office that have a trade house. Because if you recall on that, that little light, that little lighthouse next to when you leave the excise office, there's stuff in there. You know what I mean? So let's turn that into a trade house. That is, you know, these are goods that are traded for the Imperials and, you know, they do trading, but they also do some underground trading on the side, a little black market, a little uh, under market there. We're going to say that that is Minsara's trade house and she is actually affiliated with them. Um, she brought that mentality to them and, and they get a little something on the side that's thanks to her. So I'm going to say that Minsara is actually associated with this, uh, the Imperials that are running 
a little uh, scheme, a little business scheme on the low under the radar. That's what we're going to do. And just to confirm, is that what's happening? Very likely. Definitely that's what's happening. And I, I tell him, yeah, I heard, uh, I heard those Imperials were doing a little business on the side. I heard it was a little, the people in town think they're a little corrupt, they're a little shady. Do you also think that? Does he also think that? Somewhat likely. No. Hmm. He says, what does he say? Abuse slash travel. He says they do abuse their power, but they make money off of those traveling or in the middle of traveling. And he goes on to say that that's just really good business tactics. They abuse their positions by, uh, you know, kind of like how movie theaters abuse their positions and sell you popcorn that's like $12, water that's $7, hot dogs that are $12. You know, they're abusing their position. They're preying on people here to watch a movie with no, with no access to other items. He says the same thing about these folks. He says it's just business. It's good business. They're not strong arming people into purchasing these things. Um, now, all the stuff with the whole with the tax collector, that's a whole nother story. But he's kind of defending them. And I know why. Because we know who is behind. We know who is behind their trading. It's his sister, Minsara, who he's yet to tell me about. So he's saying that it's not shadiness, it's just the business. And he might not know everything about what's going on because, you know, this might this might not be related to the tax guy. So he says he's going to expose them. Expose them. What do you mean by that? What's he say? I'm going to roll a plot point. An improbable crime. Roll a theme. Social. So it's still social. And I'm going to roll another plot point. Creepy tone. Okay. So there's something very creepy that he's going to expose about Minsara or about the trade house. He has some dirt on them that's going to do the, do you think this this can potentially end them? What's he say? Does he think this will potentially end them? Very likely. Definitely. Alright. And it's creepy too. Could this be at all related to maybe some sort of um, Daedra worship? Is this Daedra? Does he, is he going to accuse him of Daedra worship? Likely. Yes. There's someone in their ranks that that worship like that really worship Daedra uh, likely majority of them do so what they you know he must what does he have some ash statues that he can expose them with I'm all in it so you, you're, you're going to need some help and I'm, I'm you know or I, I let him know I'm here for you I'm going to help you out especially if you know if you're accusing him of Daedra, Daedra worship Oh uh, yeah, let's let's let uh you know, people might not like that. Might not want to get involved with that or, or do business with those kind of people. Some creepy stuff. But the only way he could know this, how, how do you how do you know this? What's he say? Or can you can you absolutely prove this is what I ask? Can he absolutely, does he say he can absolutely prove this? I don't think he can. I'm going to say 50-50. Actually, I'll say somewhat likely. I'll say 
So he, he doesn't, he, he's, he's, that's where he's, he's saying he, he's saying he can't prove, he can't prove it. And that's where the, that's where the, uh, the challenge comes in. He does, he has an idea though on how he can prove it. It's just going to be hard. Probably. He doesn't think he can prove it unless this is done. Right? Likely. Yeah. All right. So how uh, how are we going to expose him? How, how do we expose him? I ask. Punish slash realities. He's saying that we should just start. We should we should threaten them. We should threaten um, to uh, to punish uh, them by exposing. The reality of the situation so he wants to start off with a threat and if they don't take that threat you have a plan b does he have a plan b likely yeah what's plan b release slash war he said he's gonna have to release the reins and uh go to war with them Okay, RL. Damn. This is a feud. I asked him, is there anything else I should know about this situation that you're not telling me? And I'm going to say that with a speechcraft of exceptional. And I'm going to say the difficulty of this is above average. What's he said? Yes. Does he tell me? With an exceptional versus above average, I'm gonna know our difficulty of him him telling me this. I'm gonna say is high. Cause this is deep. This is this is deep to him. Does he tell me? With an exceptional speechcraft, I ask him to tell me the truth. Does he tell me? Yeah. So does he come clean about everything? Very likely. Yes. Random event. PC negative. Me. Work hard. Slash news. He threatens me. He says that he, you know, he works really hard to keep this a secret on the low. He works hard for this to not be news to anyone and that if some if anyone were to find out about this um he'll immediately think that it was me and he will cut me from the trade house now the issue with that is is i didn't learn this from him so i kind of have a problem with that he loan told me, right? I asked him, am I the only one that knows this? Am I the only one that knows this? And are you certain? Does he know that this? Am I the only one that knows? To his knowledge, am I the only one that knows this? I want to say, I think he probably told alone. So I'm going to say unlikely. To his knowledge, am I the only one that knows this? unlikely yes so I say I guess I'll just have to trust your ability to keep a secret what's he say abuse slash business he says don't he don't he says don't abuse my trust and we'll make great business together so he really don't know other people know this i'll cross that bridge when i get there all right so i say this all right how about this i'll go i'll pay them a visit and i will communicate the urgency of uh of them not 
bringing Tolvice into their fold. I tell him that. Um, but I have to talk to Tolvice anyway. In fact, I'm going to go there with Tolvice. That's what I'll do. That's how I'll get in. That's what I'll do. Let me go talk to Tolvice, because I still think it's odd that she's leaving to begin with. After everything that we talked about. So I'm going to go back into the trade house. And I'm going to look for Tolvice. I'm expecting Tolvice to be in here. Doing business as usual. I'm going to generate a scene. All right, that's what's going on. So Tolvice is, is in here. Um... I approach Tolvice. The first thing I do is I, I call the brothers over as well. I, I approach them all. I greet Tolvice with, uh, with an exceptional uh, with an exceptional speech craft. I greet them all with an exceptional speech craft. They're happy to see me. Are they acting strange at all? L likely. Yeah, because they know that, you know. So I call the brothers over and I say, hey. I spoke with Rathlod. I told you this. But, you know, for just to be careful. You know, I haven't seen him around. Uh, keep an eye out. Stay vigilant. You know, I, I trust that he's going to hold through his end of the bargain. But he's definitely not the most trustworthy person, right? So stay vigilant. Protect your sister. Uh... And, uh, you know, I might need, uh, I might need a favor later as well, but I'm not too worried. I'll keep my, my eyes open, but most definitely keep an eye out for your sister. I then say, um, with an exceptional speech craft, and I'm going to say the difficulty of this is above average. Because I'm, I'm asking to speak with Tolvice in private, away from the brothers. I want to say the difficulty of that is, I'm going to say above average. Am I successful in convincing them to uh, let me talk to, to... Am I successful in convincing Tolvice to let me talk to her in private? Exceptional versus above average. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we walk and we, we, you know, we're whispering and stuff. And I say... I heard that you're, you know, you're potentially taking your business elsewhere. What does she say? Celebrate slash suffer. She says, she says, yes, yeah, she's tired of suffering. Um, the, the, the stress of worrying about Rathlod. She says, I, just, I know that you said you took care of it, but now it's just so much tension and stress that I can't handle it. And I'm so, I can't wait. I'm celebrating the day that I can, you know, do what I love without the stress, you know, without Rathlod, you know, eyeing me from across the room. I say, don't worry about Rathlod. I'll take care of Rathlod. In fact, I'll take care of that right now. She says, no, no, no. I'm like, I have big dreams and hopes for this trade house. I pick up one of her plants. So I'm going to use high mercantile, right? I'm going to use high mercantile skill of high. And I'm going to give it a bonus of one because I'm combining it with my alchemy skill. I'm going to say something along the lines of I pick up one of her plants. First off, can I identify it? With an average alchemy, I pick up one of her plants. The difficulty, I'm going to say the rank of identifying one of these plants is, uh, is, uh, it's probably, it's probably low. It's probably low. And actually, I want to impress her. I'm going to pick up one of the most exotic plants that she has on the table. Um, something that I, not too exotic, but something that you don't really see. And I'm going to say the difficulty of, I'm going to say the rank of this particular, of knowing this particular plant, the rank 
uh, for the difficulty of knowing this particular plant is, uh, I'll say, below average. So with my high, with my average alchemy versus a below average difficulty, um, am I able to identify this plant? No. All right. What about the plant next to it? <laughs> with the with that's that's easier to identify. Average. I'm a, I'm going to grab the cheapest plant on there, the cheapest, and I'm saying the difficulty of that this common plant is weak. Am I able to identify it with an average alchemy? No. Man. I pick up any I pick up any of the plants. And I say, look, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what this is. But it doesn't matter because we're gonna add value to this. Give her some mumbo jumbo about, you know, it don't matter what it is. We're gonna get paid off of this. I have big dreams for you and your business. With the uh with the mercantile of high, um, let's say to, to convince her, I'm going to say the difficulty is um, above average. Does that sentiment get through to her? She says, no, I had enough. What'd she say? What'd she say? trick slash messages she says the trick to living a happy life is accepting the messages that the universe gives you you know that whatever she worships gives her she gets the message time for her to leave she's really really something's wrong something happened something happened I look at the brothers like do we need do, uh, what, do any of them look like they know what's going on? It's unlikely. No. I look at Tollweiss and I say, did something happen? What's my intuition? Above average. I ask her. I say, did something happen? Does she answer me? Likely. Yes. I say twice. Did something happen with the speech craft of the exceptional? I'm going to say the difficulty of this is high. Did something happen? Am I able to butter her up with a nice question? Yes. Does she tell... Did, did something happen? I'm asking the question like... In, I'm asking the meta black now. Did, 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 I'm asking the game. Did something happen? I'm going to say likely. Exceptional, yes. Okay. Does she tell me that, though? Somewhat likely, because I successfully, you know, had a speech craft success with that question. Does she tell me? No. Is her is her lying, her ability to lie um, above average? I'm gonna say somewhat likely. Yes, it's above average. Okay, and random event, NPC action, abuse slash advice. Which NPC? Her? Fifty fifty. No. Brothers? Likely. No. And, oh, is it Raflod? Is she telling me what? Is it Raflod? Very likely. Yeah. So she's lying to me. She doesn't tell me, but she says something along the lines of, I'm just taking some advice that I got. Is Raflod in here now? 50 50. No. I asked her when she's leaving. Is she leaving this anytime this week? 50 50. Yeah. Tomorrow? 50 50. No. I tell her to just give it some more thought. Give me some time. I'm going to take care of this. Can you just give it some more thought? 
with an exceptional versus a difficulty of high because she seems like she has her mind made up. Am I able to convince her to give it more thought? Yeah. Give it more thought. Maybe if I just stand here, nobody will notice. I say, Tobice, I care about you. The least I can do is to make sure that your working arrangements and the people you're going to be working with are on the up and up. I'm going to go to the trade house that you're going to be working at. Just to scout out the area to make sure that the, the arrangements are perfect for you. Okay? What'd she say? Well, first off, is it okay? Is she okay with that? I'm gonna say likely. Exceptional, yes. So, do you mind? I think me and your brother is gonna go up there. Me and your brother is gonna take a stroll up there. You mind if I... Me and your brother, if I take one of your, your guards? You think your brother would mind? Would the brother mind? It's unlikely that he'll mind. Does the brother mind? Unlikely. No, he doesn't mind. So I, I call the brother over. I say, hey, let's uh, let's go pay this this trade. Y'all, y'all have your minds made up. Let's go pay this trade house a visit to make sure that everything's on the up and up. Because I, I care. I tell him what I told her. Is I care about y'all. And, you know, I want to make sure that I'm doing everything I can. So I asked him to come along with me. We're going to go to Mensara's train house, um, which is over by the uh, the excise office, apparently. It's a secret entrance, pretty much. Or it's, it's on the low. I'm expecting to see... I'm expecting to see a uh, an Imperial Guard out front. Um... That's what I'm expecting. And that's all. Someone that we have to speak to to gain entry. Is that what I see? Yes. Okay. So on our on our way there though. On our way there. What's for bubble game? I'm gonna pick the fifth one. One, two, three. Enome, Enome, off railing. So I say, you know, I'm walking with, I'm walking with Enome. We're, we're walking across town, and I say, look, I told you that I'm gonna look out for y'all, and I've been doing my homework. I wanted you to come with me because I want you to see this. What does he do? What does he say? Adjourn slash advice. He's open to hear what I have to say. And he holds, he, he adjourns his, uh, his, uh, judgment until he can, until he, until he, uh, acknowledges and heeds what I have to say. Using speechcraft of exceptional, I want to say things that kind of put what their decision in a bad light. So as we're conversing, I'm going to try to find things to talk about that I feel um, he would be interested in. Uh, and then I'm going to try to find ways to inject um, my bias towards their decision and put it in a bad light to give him second thoughts about it. Um, First off, I actually know what he likes to do in his spare time. Does he answer me? Very likely. Yes, and what's he likely to do in his spare time? Return slash allies. He likes to socialize. He likes to return home and be with his family. He likes to spend time with his family. How would we describe, how would we describe, uh, how would we describe Enome? 
delightfully, hastily, delightfully hasteful. He's he's very uh, chipper. Probably the most chipper of the brothers. I'm not going to say he's, but so far he seems like a delightful person to be around. Um, a little antsy is what I would say. Okay. I say, you know, I hear you, you know, and I actually haven't been around my family in a while. And I think that's why I'm so inclined to, you know, make friends and, 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 and settle here and say to me, you know, I almost look at y'all as family. I say that with an exceptional speech. Craft. Exceptional verse. I say average. Actually, I'm going to say low. This should be easy. I look at y'all's family. What's he say? Refuse slash steal me. He says, I can't deny that you really, uh, he really appreciated everything that he did and, and the stalemate that they had with Rathalon. It was really an issue and it was stressing his sister out. And as you can see, She's still stressed, and she won't be happy until she leaves here. And that's when I say, I hear you. But Eno, listen. I'm going to make sure that y'all are okay. But I can't do that if you're outside the trade house. With the speech craft of exceptional, am I able to persuade him with my speech craft and to see eye to eye with me in regards to making something happen under my protection. <laughs> Let's say the difficulty is above average. Exceptional versus above average. Am I able to have him start seeing eye to eye with me? Yes. And he probably asks me how. What am, who am I? Right? Is that what he asks? Very likely. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta remind myself. I tell Eno that I have a set of skills. I have a way. And I know how to run things. Trust in gods and justice. Just give me a couple of days. I'll let you see the fruits of my labor. Until then, I just need you to trust me. But I'm going to show you something tonight. Okay? So come with me. We arrive to a uh, to the door to where this supposed secret trade house is. And there's a guard in front of it. What? Why do you disturb me? I greet the guard with a speech craft of exceptional. I'm going to say the difficulty of this is above average because I'm a stranger. How is, is my greeting received well? Exceptional. Yes, Red Guard? I tell the guard that I'm here on behalf of Tolvice Othraelan. She is uh, a alchemist. <laughs> a local alchemist who you uh, will be working with, who you have uh, contracted to come work at your trade house. I'm assuming you heard of her. Have they heard of him? Very likely. He looks at a list. Very likely. Yeah, he looks at a list of paper. Ah, okay. welcome. I'm here on behalf. Um, me and this is a, uh, a member of their family who also works. Um, we wanted to come and we wanted to uh, take a look around, see what everything was like, and uh, speak with, with you know, uh, the employer. Are they here? Is the is 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 uh the employer here? Somewhat likely. Yeah. Do they let us speak with them? Likely. Exceptional. Yes. They say, ah, yeah, yeah. All thre the Australians. Yeah, yeah. Come in. Okay. So we go in. I'm expecting to see. Uh, you know, I'm expecting to see a uh, light. Like, 
uh, you know, some stairs that go up. I'm expecting to see a little walking area. You know, pretty much that area that's right outside the excise office, except it's it's an established trade house now. Is that what I see? Do I see people trading as well? Because that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting to see people trading as well. Is that what I see? Interrupt scene. Player character negative. NPC action. Harm slash war. Is it a new? It's a. It's a. A new NPC. Very likely. No. I interpret this as it's Rathlod inside of here. He points me out as someone who had harmed him in this trade war. And that's a negative for me because it, because it kind of puts me on blast. So he, he he's probably among some other Imperials, some other guards, some other people in the trade house. And he just straight out calls me out and says, hey, that mother... And he's probably got his people with him. Does he have his people with him? His thugs? Very likely. Yeah. Does he approach me? Very likely. No. But his gu his thugs probably do. They're trying, you know. So they can they they step forward and he convinces he uh, accuses me of harming him. <coughs> Are there a lot of people listening? Somewhat likely. No. Is anyone listening other than him? Yes. Is it Mernas? Is it, um, what's her name? What's her name? Mensara, the employer. Mensara, by chance. Likely. Yeah. So he was probably just talking to her. I walk in, they're probably on their way out, and he accuses me. I'm going to act appalled. I'm going to deny it with the speech craft of uh, exceptional versus his claim um, that I harmed him. And I'm going to say the, dif the difficulty of that is that he says she says is average. I'm going to say you have me you have me mistaken with a exceptional um, an exceptional speech craft to lie and deny this whole entire thing. You have me mistaken. Does am I successful in doing that? What does he do? What does Raflon do? Lie slash technology. Saying, you know, lying, saying that what I'm saying is a myth, it's fantasy, like the dwarves. It's a lie. And I say, for someone named Raflon the Braggart, I never thought I would hear one brag about being manhandled by a little old, I'm a big guy, but a, a you know, fat slob like me. But a speech craft of exceptional to taunt. Am I successful at taunting him? I'm going to say this, was, this is easy. This is below average. Am I successful at taunting him? Yes. <laughs> What's he say? Take slash news. I'm going to I'm going to interpret news as relating to the news that I got today. The, the information that Ariel doesn't want people to know. And that's the fact that Ariel and Minsar are sisters or related or siblings. One has and they have two different trade houses. When he says take slash news, he probably is saying something along the lines of um, it's a mistake to take them referring to all the Authorians because of their affiliation with me. I want to impress Minsar with my business acumen. And I say instead of all of these acu these these boundless, these foundationless accusations, I came here to discuss business. And the first thing that's being done is I'm being accused of beating up someone. Is this what we do here? I step for I step one step in here and I'm being accused of 
What, what, what kind of place is this? I want to act appalled with an exceptional speech craft. I say the difficulty of that is average. It doesn't work. And in turn, what does Minsara say since I kind of came at her uh, place? My, my, my plan is going to shit right now. I was not expecting Rathalot to be here. What is she saying? Control slash outside. She says, get a, get control of that. Take it outside. Is she, is she talking to Rathalot as well? Very likely. Yeah. I say outside is for the riffraff. I'm here for business. In regards to Arthralin, I drop Tolvice's name in hopes to, you know, let her know that this is about someone you're getting ready to hire. Does she? Does she? Is she interested in that? Likely. No. She says you take care of that and take it outside. Is she kicking me out? Likely. Yes. Are, are guards coming? Likely. Yes. I look at Rathlod and his goons and I say, I look directly at Rathlod and I, and I say, is there anything that we need to take care of outside or are we good here? With an intimidation of exceptional, I must say the difficulty of that is high. Am I able to successfully intimidate him into, into saying that we're good here? No. Are these goons looking like they really want smoke? Likely. Yeah. We're going to change scenes. We're going to go. We're going to be outside. And the, 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 the objective of the scene is to settle our squabble. I'm expecting to see a handful of his goons. I'm going to say about three and as, as well as him. And then it's going to be me and Enome. And hopefully, you know, at a good distance apart from each other. Is that what's going on out here? Interrupt scene, NPC action, NPC action, open slash animals. So we go out and they are we are now out in the open and they're they are choosing to handle this like animals are these nords are they nords like raflod hold on raflod's a nord right let me see yeah he's a nord a nord scout from the thieves guild okay are both of these gentlemen nords or all three of them nords 50-50. Yeah. They're choosing to act like animals. Is he sending them after me? Very likely. Does he say anything? What's he say when he does? What's he say first? Inform slash apply. He says, I regret to inform you that you, you're you plotting, you're effing with the wrong person here. Rathalot is about to smoke, it sounds like. Okay. So we walk out, and as soon as we walk out, they're brandishing weapons. Okay. <coughs> do they all have rank? Do they all have, like, melee weapons? Very likely. Yes, and one of them... Um, is super melee. He don't got no weapon. He just got two. He's using his two hands. He, matter of fact, no, he got two weapons in his hand. Are no guard? There no guards around here. Are there guards around here? Very li uh, likely. No, but there's an imperial guard. Cause remember, they're corrupt. There is an imperial guard watching, but he's watching, watching. Like he wants to see this shit. I like this place. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to de-escalate this one more time. If it doesn't work, someone's going to get hurt. And it ain't going to be me. Or Enome. 
I, I tell them to back down. I tell them, I say, and I'm not going to be polite about it. I'm going to say, I'm going to give y'all, I'm going to give y'all one more time to reevaluate how you're approaching this. I'm going to give you one more time, one more chance to course correct this. Do you, I'm not even going to hit them with, do you know who I am? Not yet. Rathalon. Call off your men and leave this town. Leave the RL trade house. I say that with an exceptional. I want to say the difficulty of that is is awesome. <laughs> Does he heed? No. Do his men attack me all at once? 50-50. No. The first one that's come... So one comes at... One's, one's coming after me, right? Alright. Is one coming after me? Very likely. Yeah. Alright, so we're doing this. We're doing this. Okay. 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 We're doing this. I put my hand on my dagger. I tell... I tell... Uh, Enome, I said Enome. It doesn't always have to come to this. Sometimes it does. Just step aside, I'll take care of this. So the Nord that's approaching me, what is he doing? Element. Summon. Does his weapon catch on fire? Likely. Yes. It's a blazing flame. He summons a flame upon his weapon. Wow. It's some sort of enchanted weapon. This must be his like number one dude. Is this his number one dude? Very likely. Yes, and... I stand there and I and I, I stand there ready on guard, awaiting for him to approach. I'm gonna counter him. I wait for him to approach. Ready. But my hands are my hands are like this. I got my hands out. It's my fighting style. I fight with my hands out like this. Like. He approaches. I wait for him to approach. Was he? Does he continue to um, engage me with an attack? Very likely. Very likely. Yes. He goes to swing. Um, I'm going to say the his. I'm going to say his ability to swing his um, enchanted his his flaming mace is a Nord. Um, I'm going to say he's probably. Uh, Probably high. Is it high? Somewhat likely. Yeah. He's gonna attack me with his mace. I'm going to use. Actually, we're gonna do my above average hand to hand versus his high mace. I always wanna be on top, it helps me remember. Um, am I able to successfully uh, grab his his wrist and block his attack? No. So we're going to do uh, it's going to be st his strength plus one rank shift. So I'm going to say his strength is definitely probably um, above average. Is his strength above average? Likely. Yeah. So it's going to be strength plus one rank shift. I'm actually going to give him a bonus of uh, two rank shift because it's on fire. Versus my toughness of above average. 
Is it a significant blow? Yes. So he comes in and he swings that fire mace. Your head will be my new trophy. Does he hit me? Where, where does he hit me, though? Is it in my, um, is it in my, the, my core? Very likely. No. My head? No, it wouldn't be my head. My head? Yes. I probably should have figured that out first before I rolled damage, because if it was my head, it would have did more. So we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. But he he swings and it uh it clip you know it kind of clips my it kind of clips my face. He says, boom. Fire damage across my face. Damn. He goes to swing that thing. I try to block it, but he comes in that fire. That that the heat from that fire just it was a lot more hotter than it was a lot hotter than I thought. And just the the the, the, the fire just kind of just kind of threw me off and it catches me, it goes through my hand and hits me in my face. And I'm mad now. I use adrenaline rush. I gain a bonus to my agility, endurance, speed, strength, and health. 50 points except for health. I get 25 points in health. So I'm going to equate these 50 points to two rank shifts and the health one rank shift. I now have two rank shifts of agility, endurance, speed, and strength. And I'm angry. And after he hits me, I'm going to sit there like this. And I'm going to... Does he continue his attack? Somewhat likely. No. All right, he's changing his tactics. Let's see what he's doing now. Cold. Blunt. Oh, this is the dude with the other, with the two-handed, with the two weapons. Does he ignite his other mace? And is it, uh, is it, um... Is it enchanted with ice? Very likely. Meanwhile, Raphlot is like, get him, get that mother, get that red guard. Get, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he's, he's standing there and he starts, he starts grinning, laughing, and then he enchants his other mace. Yo, who was this guy's name? Who is this person? This is this is his big Wookie. Who is this person? Oh, Nord. This is well. First off, is it a male or female? Is it a male? Fifty-fifty. Is it male? Definitely a male. Okay. What's uh? What's this Nord's name? I'm gonna go with the first. I'm gonna go with the the last one. Agarade Alfarsen. That's right. He says, "That's right, Agarade, kick his ass." I start walking towards him slowly. And then as I get closer, I'm going to speed up with a powerful haymaker to his face. So I'm going to walk and then I'm just going to sprint and leap like a Superman punch, like and leap and just go. Bow. That's my that's what I'm going to do with a. Uh, with a with my hand to hand, yeah, and I'm gonna give myself a bonus of of one for the speed. Yeah, that sounds fair. Give 
myself a bonus of one for the speed. So high plus one. He's probably going to defend um, with his weapons. He's probably going to parry. Uh, he's going to parry and his weapon, his, his mace skill is high. So it's going to be my high plus one versus high. Am I able to land my blow? Exceptional, no. He successfully parries my blow ha! and counters. Is he continuing his attack with his uh, ice mace? Likely. No, he's doing something else. What is he doing? He attacks, he's attacking with um, his body. So he probably strikes me with his, with his, with it, with a, he gives me a, probably a punishing knee strike. Um, counter after he parries and the knee strikes me. I'm going to uh, defend um, with my agility. No, I'm going to defend with hand to hand to parry the knee strike. And give myself a plus one for the adrenaline rush. So with his high, I'm going to give him a plus two. I'm going to give him a plus two because he had a really, really critical um, parry. So my high plus one to grab his knee, his high plus two knee. Am I able to um, defend his high plus two knee? Yes. So he parries successfully, knocks me off guard, and he goes with the knee. But um, I'm able to parry his knee. I want to grab his. Um, I want to grab his leg while it's up and chop him in the throat with a high plus one. The combination of grabbing his knee and chopping him in the throat, I'm going to take away my penalty and just go with the high to kind of balance that out. It's kind of a combination move. And I'm going to chop him in the throat. Um, he's probably going to try to defend. He's all I got his leg. I should or I'm attempting to have his leg. He's probably going to try to defend physically. Um, I'll say he's probably going to try. Is he going to try to defend with his weapons? Likely. Yeah. So I'm going to give him high again. So it's going to be my high versus his high. Am I able to um, successfully grab his knee, his leg, uh, since he tried to use it and then chop him in his throat? Exceptional, yes. Damn it. Let me reroll that. Because I should be taking a penalty because I got a wound. So with a high minus one versus his high, am I able to grab his, uh, his leg and chop him in the throat? No. So I missed. I'm. 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 Do I miss the leg grab? Likely. Yeah. And I missed it as a result. I'm doing. I missed the chop in the throat. Well, I probably get the chop, but it probably it's not a significant enough blow. Does he continue his assault in his close quarters? Somewhat likely. Yeah. So he goes to attack. Probably with his mace. So high, and I'm going to continue to attack with my hand to hand skill. I defend with a minus one. We're both attacking at the same time. Who comes out on top? Does he, does he, uh, actually, actually, to be honest. am I able to, um, defend his attack? Exceptional yes. He swings, I parry with an exceptional yes. Ah. I'm throw him, I'm, with, with this parry, I'm, I'm attempting to probably throw him off guard. And I want to lean in for, um, I'm going to send us, you know, an elbow um, into his gut. So he swings. I did. I, um, I 
I uh, grab his arm and fling him, and then I try to gut punch him. So a high uh, minus one, and give myself a bonus of one, so I'm gonna bring myself back to zero for the gut punch. He's probably gonna try to defend with his with his weapons. I'm gonna give him a minus one because he's off. I'm already giving me a plus one for the exceptional yes. Am I able to gut punch him? No. I missed a punch. Man, this guy's a beast. Is he continuing his attack? Likely. Definitely with more intensity. He strikes me with both weapons. I'm gonna give him a plus one. Your head will be my new trophy. I'm gonna put myself on the bottom just so I can know that I'm defending. And I'm going to try to. Um, these, these attacks are way too close. I gotta see if there's a strategy or something. I'm relying on my hand to hand a little bit more than I would like. I don't. I don't want to dive into the magic yet. I feel like that's something I gotta like spend some time with, brush up on, to keep it real. And I haven't give, been giving myself these bonuses from my adrenaline rush. I just remembered. I'm killing myself here. Um, he's def he's swinging with both hands. I'm going to defend with my agility. Or with my hand to hand, I'm gonna give myself a plus one so it'll cancel out the wound. Am I able to um, parry his attacks with hand to hand? Or more so, is he able to hit me with his attacks as I parry? Is he able to hit me? No. Okay. So I parry him, Jaws. I parry. I parry the 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 mace swing, and I spin. With a, with a spinning back elbow into his temple. So high plus one for my adrenaline rush, which is giving me a plus two. So I'm not gonna have a wound, so that's bringing me to plus one. So plus two minus one, plus, so high plus one uh, versus, um, he's probably going to defend with his, with his highest attacking skill high uh, with his mace, both of them. I spin off. Am I able to um, land a blow? Exceptional no. I completely miss. Giving him in combat advantage. Does he continue to attack with his uh, mace? Definitely. He attacks with his mace. I'm going to give him a plus two. Again, giving me a plus one. He strikes. Am I able to? Is he able to hit me? Yes. Is he hitting me in my head? Somewhat likely. Yes. So high verse plus two. Does it? Hurt? Does it hurt? <sighs> he hits me, but I I, I eat the. You know, I take it, but I can I can keep going. This guy is incredibly skilled. I didn't want to have to spill blood. I wanted to be able to take him down without killing him, but he's going for blood. I'm going to have to take him out. I pull my short blade out. And I lunge in for a um, stab to his body. With an above average... I'm giving myself a plus two for speed. I'll subtract one for the wound versus his high. Am I able to land that lunge? Ah, oh, y'all can't see it, but that is a exceptional yes. Is a, see? That's an exceptional yes. Let's go. That's an exceptional yes with a dagger. 
So that means <laughs> is somebody's about to be bleeding. Daggers do below average lethal damage. Below average damage. I'm giving myself a plus two for the strength, minus one for the wound, the head wound. His toughness is probably, uh, is his toughness high? Somewhat likely. Yeah, exceptional, yes. It's it's exceptional. It's exceptional. His toughness is exceptional. So below average plus one versus his exceptional. Is he wearing armor? Somewhat likely. No. Okay, good. Am I able to... With a below average plus one... So average lethal wound, am I able to um, hurt him with this knife? Oh. Oh. Yo, man, I lunge in, I pull that knife out, I'm like, yo, I had it, I had it. <laughs> he got me bleeding, he throwing me around. I got, I'm about to end this. I lunge forward and I stab him so hard with that knife right in his gut that I crit him. Oh. Does he succumb to the wounds? So I'm going to go ahead and do below average because it was a crit. I'm going to give it a plus three. So it's below average plus three versus his toughness of exceptional. Which really is just under his his uh, his toughness rank. So there's a possibility that he will not succumb, but it's a wound nonetheless. Does Agrade Alfarsen succumb to the dagger plunged into his stomach? No. I will bathe in it's your blood. So wound nonetheless. With his agility versus my agility, average versus average, my average agility, I'm getting a plus two minus one, so average plus one versus his average minus one. Am I able to take another am I able to make another move before he can act? Exceptional, yes. I go for another stab. Above average, plus one versus his gut. He's going to try to defend with a high minus one. I'm going for a double stab. Am I able to stab him in his gut again? No, I miss. Does he continue to attack with his mace? Somewhat likely. Yes, he swings high. I'll give him a plus. No, I'm not giving him a plus for what? Because he's dual wielding. Yeah, I'll give him plus one because he's dual wielding. I'm giving him a minus one because he's he has a stab wound. He just didn't succumb. That's right. So, so I'm giving him a minus one or a zero versus my um so he's attacking i'm going to defend with hand to hand of high is he able to hit me with his attack no he swings i dip out of the way I, or i kind of brush it off with my parry i want to i want to stab his bicep that he swung with. I'm going to stab his bicep with a uh, above average plus one. I'll give myself a, um, a minus one. So above average since I'm targeting a, sp a specific body part. 
So above average versus his uh not gonna give him a dual wielding bonus here, so I'll just bring him down to zero because this is right after he swung. Now I'll give him plus one. Who knows what he's doing? So zero. Alright, so above average versus high. Am I able to am I able to target his arm and stab his arm? Yes. Below average plus one versus his toughness of exceptional minus one. Does it hurt? Is it a significant stab? Yes. So he swings and I dip it, I parry it, and I go to stab him. In his um, arm. Oh. Giving him another wound to his arm. Agility versus agility. I'm giving myself a plus one. I'm giving him a minus two. Am I able to take another strike? Am I able to move before him? No. Stay where you are. Does he uh, continue with striking with his maces? Somewhat likely. Yes. He goes to hit me with his mace. I'm actually going to give him another penalty. Two for the minus two for the wounds, but I'm giving him a. Actually, is he swinging with his? He's is he swinging with his uh, injured arm? Very unlikely. No. All right. So high minus two. I'm going to evade it with my hand to hand, so I'll give myself a plus one. Is he able to hit me? Exceptional. No. He goes to swing. I'm wearing him down now. Parry that. With an exceptional no. I want to grab his arm. I want to grab his arm and stab his other arm. With my dagger. And with an exceptional no on his miss. This should be a little bit. It should be easy. So with a, a high hand to hand. Plus one. I'm going to give myself a plus two. I'm going to give myself a plus two because of that whiff, his, his terrible whiff. Am I able to um, successfully grab his arm and stab his arm? Fool. No. Damn it. So I, I hold, I grab onto his arm, but I fail at that. Um, does he continue to attack with his mace? Likely. No. He's changing his strategy. What is he doing? Ambush. Tension. He backs up a bit and goes into a, def a more defensive mode and, and attempts to counter me. I take this opportunity to let him know that he's gonna not he, he's not gonna walk away from this in a good in a good in good form. I want to use that. I want I want to use an intimidate. I want to get into his head. I want to get into his head with an uh, with an exceptional intimidate. Is his willpower above average? Very likely. Yeah. All right. So my exceptional intimidation versus his um, willpower of above average. I'll give him a plus one for being. Um, a badass. I'll give him a plus two for being badass. Am I able to get into his head with what I say? I got into his head a bit. His stomach, his stomach hurt and that stab wound hurt. His arm hurt. I get into his head. I say, you're not going to leave here in good form today. And as I walk, as I start walking up to him menacingly. Mind who you're fighting. Agility versus agility. Who goes next? Am I able to go next? Yes. I start walking and I immediately throw my knife at his face using a marksman skill of average. He's not concealed. So he's getting no bonus from concealment. He's at point blank range. So I'm giving myself a plus three, an additional plus three. And so average plus four I'm throwing this knife at his face 
he's going to need to defend with reflex. I'm going to say his ref- he's been dodging my shit, so his reflex is probably above average. Is his reflex above average? Likely. Yeah. Above average, minus two. I hurl my knife right into his face unexpectedly. As I'm walking, I just go and throw the knife right at his face. Actually, I'll give myself a penalty of one because I'm aiming for a specific body part. So average plus three. Does it does it land? Does it hit? Ah! Right between the eyes. Does it dam- does it do significant damage? Knife uh, a thrown dagger to the face. And that's wound number three. So that's the third wound on the third lethal wound. Well, you always got to roll to see if you succumb. Does he succumb? to the above average three damage uh, the above average plus three damage to his toughness does he succumb to the wounds and or does it kill him it's a lethal weapon does it kill him or does he succumb to the wounds yes random event pc negative open slash evil is he dead i'm gonna say likely <laughs> i'm gonna say very likely there's a knife in his head yeah and the negative thing to me is open slash evil. I'm going to interpret this as what I just did in the open appears evil. And I, I think Enome Enome is uh, judging is, is is judging me. Um, is 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 that what's going on? Is Enome looking at me as a, like a bad man now? No, because a hard judge, but fair. No, I don't think he would do that. These are these guys are bad. Maybe it's people. Are people in town looking? Or is it people in town? Likely. Exceptional, yes. Townsfolk just saw me commit a murder in an open public. And they're now looking at me as someone who is evil. Because I'm new here. And I just killed someone. But they know who I am. They saw what happened. But the perception is that I'm evil. Hopefully, I'm okay with that. Hopefully that, uh, you know, that sets the tone a bit. You know, you can't mess with me. You know what I mean? What does Raffalo do? Open slash the intellectual. His mind opens up to what I'm capable of. He's no longer underestimating me. This is more of an expression. Does he send his other guy after me? Unlikely. No. No. Do, do any of the guards come after me? Unlikely. No. I asked Raflod if we're done here. I asked Raflod if we're done here. With an intimidation of exceptional. Versus his willpower. He probably has a high willpower. I'm going to say his willpower is high. Is it high? Likely. Is it, is it is it is it high? Yes, it's high. Random event, PC negative, assist slash weather. Uh, I'm getting a chill. The weather is pretty cold outside, and my adrenaline, as my adrenaline starts to die down from the lack of movement and the talking, um, I start to realize that it's getting really cold out here. It'd probably be in my best interest to not fight. So I'm hoping that this this threat kind of gets him to back down a bit because I would prefer not to be out here fighting in the cold and my adrenaline is wearing off. It's worn off. So with an exceptional um, speech uh, intimidation versus high um, versus uh, his high. I'm going to give myself a plus one because I just killed somebody. I say, I th- are we done here? Raflod has Raflod had enough with my intimidation. Am I able to intimidate him into having enough? What's he say? In prison slash tactics. He says, we're going to end up in prison if we keep this up. Let's get out of here. Is what he says to his guy. We're going to end up in prison if we keep this up. Let's get out of here. And he gives me a long look. I look over at Enom. What's Enom say? Agree slash misfortune. He agrees with what I did. 
he also agrees that you know we could end up in trouble if we keep this up which would be mis which would be unfortunate do they leave their blue on the ground unlikely no and they uh they pick him up in, in his belongings okay because i definitely was about to loot his body <laughs> and they carry him away my knife is in his head still I look at Om I look at Omen, or I look at um, Eno, and I say, "I'm gonna need another knife." And I'm holding my head like, "I want to continue. I want to go back into the trade house and, and, and speak to Minsar. I know I'm not. I'm kind of banged up, but I'm okay. I'll be all right. I want to go back inside and speak to Minsar. Is he going? Is, is I ask Eno to come with me? Does he come with me? Very likely." Yeah. Alright. Let's try this again. We go in the Eno Robin Sara's trade house. Uh and I and I um I'm expecting the same thing. I'm expecting uh, you know, everything but without Raphalod's ass. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So I go in and I Is he, is is Men is uh Minsara still there? In the same spot? Very likely. Yeah. Why do you disturb me, Red God? I come in and I, I, I call for Minsara. What does she say? Control slash ambush. She says, I'm, you know, something along the lines of, I'm glad you, you know, I see you were able to get control of that. As a pun. Are you usually being ambushed inside of trade houses? I say I've only ever really been in reputable trade houses. It was the first time for everything, though. Take a shot at her. Does she respond negatively? Likely. Yeah. What'd she say? Starting slash military. Clearly you are an idiot. She says starting trouble inside of starting trouble inside of my trade house will get you arrested. She's referring to um, the guards, the military guards around there. And they're looking to and they're waiting, just they're waiting for the signal. I say. Starting a danger caught can also get you arrested. With a speech craft of exceptional. I say the difficulty of this threat. Is above average. It brings home. How does uh? How does she respond to that? Negatively. Well, how does she? Res what does she? How does she respond? Do you mind? The stow slash the spiritual. She says something along the lines of. how anyone chooses to uh, express their spiritualities on them. What others may call a cult. Some may call just an artist can hardly express their craft without proper tools, a belief. So she's kind of defending herself without defending herself. She's defending a theoretical person. She's defending that she's defending a hypothetical person. Because I didn't straight out name or label anyone. And I say, well, you know, that would all come down to uh, the pub, the court of public opinion. I say that with a speech craft of the exceptional. I'm going to say the difficulty is above average. She's not phased by that. What does she say? Break slash masses. She says, obviously, there's something that uh, you think, you know, that you uh, are looking or, you know, that you will plan on telling the masses. What are you accusing me of? say 
I don't need to accuse you of anything. What it's going to come down to is if you don't start, if you don't stop trying to take good traders from Ariel's trade house, I'll just get straight to it. I'm going to tell, I'm going to let everyone know about your spiritual beliefs. And you know what I'm talking about. Does my threat ring home? Yes. And Enome is watching this. Enome is with me. So after I say that, she's standing there and I'm waiting a response from her. But I turn to Enome and I say, it's a beautiful trade house. They have a lot going on here, but there's a little bit more going on than you and your sister know about. And I don't know if you want to be affiliated with that. Isn't that right? I say to uh, Minsara. What does how does she respond? <laughs> Neglect slash allies. Anyone who's not an ally or part of the trade house is out of sight and out of mind. If uh, if if uh, your sister doesn't want to work with us as allies, then then we don't care. So it sounds to me like she's accepting my threat and not taking toll vice. Is that what's happening? Very likely. Yes, and event return slash evil. She says, if you ever return here again, I will show you what cult activities look like. She threatens me. Actually, I'm going to roll her threat versus my um, my uh, willpower. I think that would be fair. My willpower of average. I think that would be fair. She probably can. She can probably threat. I'm going to say she's probably above average threater. Threater. She an above average threater? Likely. Yeah. So her above average threat. Versus my intuition or my willpower. I feel like I'm a tough guy. I'm going to give myself a plus one. Does her threat work on me? No. I say if I return here again, I'm taking this place over. With an exceptional. I'm going to say the difficulty of that is high. Does that fly home? Exceptional, no. In fact, she gets really angry and kicks me out. Does she kick me out? Very likely. Yeah, and the guards, they escort us out. I'm surprised you can even speak. You look like a primitive. Get out of here. End scene. End scene. So I, I really just wanted to go and have a word with her. I think I was able to successfully get that threat home and let her know that we know some things, even though we don't really know. I mean, Aurel might know some things, um, but she also knows that Aurel knows her better than anyone does. So I feel like she believes us, but I feel like I was, I definitely was able to successfully send that threat home and they're an enemy for sure. Now I need to go and tell uh, Aurel what happened and I need to let Tolvice know delicately that um, I just ruined her gig. <laughs> But hopefully I have backup from her brother. That's why I brought the brother with me so he can see how, you know, how they respond to the allegations. And so he can be a, some, he can give me some support in trying to convince her that it was a bad idea to begin with, even though she has no place to go. Um, I really just took care of two birds with one stone. I don't think Raffalot will be coming back here, honestly. Who knows? But um, I returned to the trade house. I'm expecting them to see the normal hustle and bustle. Is, is that what's going on in here? Interrupt scene. NPC action. NPC positive. Lie slash a project. 
Is this um is this Othraelin? Is this Tolvice? Is the NPC No, maybe it's Eno. Is it Eno? Somewhat likely. No. Is it Tolvice? Likely. Yes. So we come in and uh, NPC action lie a project. We see Tolvice in here kind of having a, uh, 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 There's someone watching me. I can tell. She looks like she's having a breakdown. She's kind of relieved. Whatever Rafla told her, something was supposed to be happening today that was going to hurt her and it didn't happen. He's terror. He's tormenting her and it didn't happen. And that's probably because of what happened with me and him earlier. And she is relieved. It is a positive for her. She's worrying for nothing. And this is what I'm trying to explain to her. So we come, me and Eno. And before we even get here, I say, Eno, I'm going to need your support here. Did he agree to help me convince her to stay? Very likely. Exceptionally, yes. So without even telling her that her, her job, her gig is ruined, I'm just going to try to convince her again with the help of Enome. And I'm going to let her know that with Enome's, he can vouch that Rathlod is not going to be, Rathlod is not going to be, dealing, you know, bothering her again, maybe. Damn it, Rathlod. So we arrive. I greet, I greet, uh, I greet her. And I say, hey, I got bad news. She's like, what, what, what? You don't want to go to this place. And I know you probably think I'm just saying that because I want you here, but they're not good people. They're into some things. Just keep it on keep it on the low but they're into some things and we're looking into it but he know so they're into some things does Eno vouch for me like he said he would very likely yes and he kind of adds to it uh, there's a perfectly good explanation for this I assure you kind of adds to it so with an, uh, with an exceptional plus a plus two rank because I have Eno helping me are we able to convince her? We're going to say the difficulty is above average. Are we able to convince her to stay? After telling her about, you know, the weird stuff that they're allegedly involved with. I also want to let her know, and Enome can vouch, that he saw me handle Rathla today. In fact, I killed, I, <laughs> I killed someone. And because the Satanine Imperials are corrupt, they turned a blind eye. But I killed one of his strongest men. Are one of these? Are is is that was that was his name? Alagad, Alagade, Agarid. I also let her know that to send a message, I had to take care of one of Rathlon's men. Enom says. Enom leans into her and he says, Agarid. She's like. What do you mean take care of? And Enome's like, That rat's in the bag. I look at her and I say, You're safe here. So with an exceptional plus three versus a difficulty of above average, am I able to convince her that it's it's safe here? I took care of Rathlod. You don't want to go to the other place. It's safe here. Does it work? <sighs> You say so. I change the subject. I pat her on her shoulder and I say, hey, look, the things I do is for y'all. Do you have anything for headaches? Do I have a headache? Very likely. I have a headache. Are you all right, <laughs> Outlander? Does she have anything for headaches? Very likely. Yeah, she has everything. She has everything. So she gives me some medicinal herbs on the house. Is it on the house? Very likely. My prices are reasonable. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, look, that's the way of the trade. I respect it. We won't do that. We won't do no on the house. She's about to get a bonus at the other place. She got to make up for that. <laughs> 
So let me see. Uh, she want to. She want to. She want to box with God, right? Let's see. She want to box with the God. What's my skill? Merchant Hi. She want to box with God. So with her, because her mercen, her purse, her mercantile is low. Remember, she's um, I believe she was below average. We'll say below average. Um, she wants to barter me into a higher price. For is she able to successfully get me to a significantly higher price, below average versus my high. Exceptional, though. Am I able to get it for much cheaper than what she wanted to give it to me for? Very likely. Yeah, so we worked that out. Um, five gold, five gold. Does she accept that five gold? High versus below average. Does she accept 10 gold? High versus above average. I'm not raising a difficulty. She's she's. She's feeling some sort of way. It's okay. Yes. Okay. Ten gold. Let me write that down. Ten gold. So we got thirty gold left. And she gives me some. Uh, she gives me a plant that can help with my uh, increase the healing rate of my wound, which will in turn will get rid of my headache. So in about in about five minutes or so, I'll ask Myth, I'll ask um, Myth, I'll ask Mythic if if um, if I recover from my my high wound, my high ranked wound. It's a high ranked wound, so I have a high ranked headache. Um. All right. So scene scene. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to report to RL and let him know that Tollvice will be staying here. And I'm, I'm going to I'm going to let him know what uh, what happened at uh, the trade house. I'm expecting RL to be somewhat, you know, on edge, a little nerd, a little high tension there because he's stressed um, and he's behind, you know, the, his his counter, you know, maybe working with uh, some people, some clients. Is that what's going on? Altered scene. Um, there's no clients. There's no clients. It's just him. So he's all mine. Great. So I walk over behind um, behind Arl's counter, and I'm sitting with him. And he's like, "Well, ah, there's an intelligent face." He sees the he sees the wound on my fit on my face. He's like, "My God, what happened?" I tell him one. I went to go talk to our uh, friends. Tobias is gonna be staying. Tobias is gonna be staying. He's like, what? How'd you? Does he ask any questions, or does he just take my word for it? Because I feel like that would be much cooler. Does he? Does he ask any questions? Likely. Yeah. He's like, what? What is? What does he say? You make it less cool if you ask me questions. Come on, man. Just take my word for it, man. Come on. <laughs> um. What does he say? Inspect slash illness. He's like, how did you get the? What's, how did you get the head wound? Why are you so jacked up? I said, well, uh. There's, you know, you might not know this, Ariel, but there's some tension under your roof of your trade house. And out of respect of you and everything you've done, I treat this trade house like my own. And I know you don't prefer drama under here. And I took it upon myself to take care of some things. And that's what resulted in, 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 in Toll Rice staying. I took care of that and I plan on doing it and we'll do it again. What's he say? antagonize slash riches he says people man the way they act off of money 
It's not the kind of culture that I want to promote under my roof. Yeah, I say, yeah, you don't, uh, we don't tolerate any bullies. So he says, all right, so what happened with, uh, what happened with, uh, Minsara? I said, uh, she, she was picking up what I was putting down. He said, really? I said, yeah. What's he say next? Transform slash good. He says, good. Things are starting to look good for us. I say, yeah, but you know, that's definitely an issue. That's a problem that we're going to need to take care of eventually. And you know that, you know that, don't you? Does he know that? Likely. Yes, and what's he say? Decrease slash disruption. He says, yeah, the more, you know, the further we go and the better we get, the more prosperous we become. We'll need to turn them down. We'll need to dial them down. We'll need to dial down the disruptions, but one day at a time. We're we're back here plotting this shit. Yeah, I like RL. I like RL. I like RL. He's like one day at a time now. But we definitely need to turn that shit down. I say, yeah. Yeah, just let me know. I feel like the dude from Grand I feel like anyone any any main character from Grand Theft Auto, like like the like the goon. I'm like, alright, just let me just let me know. You know, and maybe one day you can te you can tell me more about your situation with Mansara. If I didn't know any better, y'all looked like y'all resembled each other. What, what's he say? Vengeance slash bureaucracy. Well, he told me everything, right? And he mentioned he just talks about vengeance and their disagreement. You know, like one day you're just you know sit down and tell me everything I need to know. Does he agree? Or likely. Yeah, but he's still hesitant. So I asked him, I asked him, so if you did have to prove, how did you, how do you do it? Because they, I tell, I'll tell him that they're, they're holding their ground. They agreed to let her go, but they don't seem too phased by the fact. So we're going to need some proof if we're going to hold that as leverage over them. Do you actually have a plan for that does he have a plan 50 uh does he have a plan in mind 50 50 no event increase slash goals he says no but uh, we're going to add that to our list of things to do in fact i want you to do i want you to figure that i want you to figure that out i want you to uh help me with that you got to get them out of here and that's, I'm going to put that on you. I say, that's a big responsibility. What comes with such responsibility? What's he say? Ambush slash riches. He says, you'll find yourself surrounded by more gold than you can imagine. I said, hmm. I would need to find myself there first before I begin to do anything. What's he say? Delay slash illness. He says, chill. I got you. You you worry about you get your uh get your headache figured out and we'll talk. Cause I'm pretty much like, I need where's the money at? I hear you, but you know, where the money at? What do you what do you have in mind? He's like, we'll talk, we'll talk. But he's pretty much sounds like, you know, he's willing to work with me and maybe employ me for some things. OK. So before I go to the, to my bedroom downstairs, I say, hey, Aro, by the way. You're really underutilizing those beds that you got down there. What's he say? Transform slash power. He says there's there's more power and, you know, he wanted to focus more on trading. You know, he didn't really want it to be like a, a N. Um, so he went, he's, you know, he transformed it. He transformed the idea of this trade house into more just purely trading and, you know, not a hybrid of an N as well. But I tell him about those beds and how much I think they're worth. Mercantile of high versus his mercantile of high. 
Am I able to get him to uh, see the benefit of of uh, you know selling selling beds for nights? Nah. I'm like, that's your loss. How about this? How about this? You let me take care of that. If I can, if I could start making you some extra money with those three beds that you got down there, maybe you'll reconsider. He's like, I don't really want. He's, what's he, what's he say? What's he say? Struggle slash nature. He struggles with the idea of letting people down there because it's a very private room. I'm like, okay. How about if we let our traders, the people that are important to us, such as Tollvice, live in those rooms? And we give them a, um, we let them stay there for a discounted price, but it's more money than you would be getting because you're not doing anything with them. And I say that with a mercantile. That's a trade. That's a mercantile thought. Say that with a mercantile of high versus his mercantile of high. How about that? And it's a good idea. I'm gonna give myself a plus one. How about that? What's he say? Does it, does it, does he does he uh, what's he think? Ah, what's he say? Oppress slash the physical. He says it's going to be too much work to, you know, get some beds down there and some comfortable, you know, all the equipment and furniture. And I said, don't you don't do that. You don't do that. Other people do it. Let, leave it up to me. Does he leave it up to me? With an exceptional. With an exceptional. I say, leave it up to me. You don't worry about that physical shit. Like, leave it up to me. I'm saying the difficulty is high. Just leave it up to me. No, he's like, fuck out of here. <laughs> That's why I like Ariel because he knows he, you know, he's not gonna, he don't bend or sway or nothing. He's like, he's starting to get, he, is he starting to get a little annoyed? Likely. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Scene. All right. Okay. That was productive. Minsara. Hmm. And Rathlod. No wonder she was. I took out one of his powerful goons, though, so. I don't know. I got a bad feeling about it, honestly. It was kind of a reality check. I realized, like, I was, I'm fighting a dude who. I mean, I did good. He For someone who is an experienced fighter, he had two enchanted. He had two, like, weapon, you know bound weapons or like enchanted weapons like man that was crazy but I feel like the Minsara thing is going to be a problem and I don't know I don't I really don't know about their danger warship this is something that was just told to me but she didn't deny it Minsara didn't deny it so I followed Ariel's thought of just threatening them, and that was, it turns out that that was enough. We'll see. Hey, if you got this far, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying the show, please consider liking, subscribing, and I definitely want to know what you think in the comment section about everything that happened. Um, but stay tuned for uh, next episode. Whew. I thought I was going to die. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yo, did y'all like the way I threw that knife into his head, though?